Welcome to the Lift Truck Capacity Calculator website. This short video explains the basic format of the website and the rudiments of how to use the capacity calculation software. Once you have registered to obtain a username and a password, when you log in you will arrive at the dashboard screen. Select the Go to Build Truck option to arrive at the forklift features and selection screen. The software is set up to allow the user to configure the forklift on this screen and then add attachments to the carriage by clicking Next and configuring the attachments in the next three screens. The software allows up to three attachments to be added to the carriage in attachment screens 1, 2, and 3. Attachment number 1 is closest to the carriage then attachment 2 goes on to attachment number 1 and attachment 3 would go on attachment 2 if a third attachment were present. Though there are three available attachment positions, all three positions will rarely be used. Once the attachments have been configured, advance to the summary screen by clicking Next or the Go To Summary button to review the configuration you have selected. Select the load center for the applicable load being handled and click Calculate Capacity. Wait a few seconds for the software to calculate the capacity rating results. The leftmost column of the results table represents the capacity rating in pounds and kilograms at minimum and maximum lateral load offset positions. The next column indicates the lift height for that capacity rating. The lateral offset in inches and millimeters for side shifting or rotating attachments is indicated by the load offset column. The load center column indicates the load center used for the capacity calculation in inches and in millimeters. The back tilt column indicates the maximum back tilt allowed. The next column is the fork capacity check column and is used to help the user select the correct fork size for the application. This number relates to the capacity rating in the first column and indicates how much excess or insufficient fork capacity you have at the indicated capacity rating. If the forks are limiting the available truck capacity, this number will be negative and will appear in yellow, indicating the forks could be resized to achieve a greater truck capacity rating. We will discuss this more later. The next column is the attachment check capacity column and is likewise used to indicate whether the attachments are sized correctly. Also more on this later. At any time you can go back and change the truck or attachment features and then go back to the summary page and click the calculate capacity button again to uh, instantly see how the uh, changes affect the capacity rating. The navigation buttons at the bottom allow the user to quickly navigate through the truck and attachment screens. The website allows the user to store unlimited records for future reference and these records can be accessed through the Select a Record drop-down menu at the top of the page.
The description of configuration text box is a great place to store pertinent information about the application, the customer, or the equipment for future reference. Just click one of the navigation buttons to save the information you enter and it will be available whenever the record is selected. The forklift manufacturer's spec sheets are available for viewing by clicking the View Spec Sheet button <clears throat> underneath the truck picture. The spec sheet will open in a new browser window. If you don't find your forklift in our database, click the Upload Spec Sheet button to have your forklift added. Select a file. Configuring trucks and attachments with the drop-down menus, selection should always be made in the order from top to bottom of the page, because the drop-down menus are dependent on the previous selections. i.e. forklift type, then make, then model, then drive tires, mast, and carriage. Forks are considered a lifting attachment and must be added as an attachment if there is no other lifting apparatus or if the selected attachments do not have their own forks. In this case, the attachment side shifter does not include forks. So forks are added in attachment position number two. Fork sizes must be entered in inches at this time. Also, the load center must be entered in inches to obtain a valid capacity rating. There must be an attachment or forks configured in attachment position number one for the software to yield a capacity rating. 